Grandmother, what is this picture all about? This is what he was named Seneca. It seems that they're doing the same thing now as they did in Atlanta yeah. the other night. <laughs> as he was ready for president. Oh, yes, Dr. Well, do you think you'll make a good president? Oh, I haven't been down to the grill. Why? Because he seems so faithful to everything he's done. I'm proud of my boy. He has made a fine sensor, and I know he will be a good president. Dick Russell and I worshipped in this church when we were boys. Later, I became president of the bracket class, which had a membership of a hundred men. And this same Dick Russell was our teacher. And I must say, he was a real good teacher for our Bible school. He knows the Bible, too. In fact, he lives by it. As chairman of the Board of Stewards, I'm mighty proud to say that Dick Russell is a member of the Winder Methodist Church. We always look forward to have him worship with us whenever he's at home. Dick Russell hasn't got as much hair on top of his head as he used to have 35 years ago when I started cutting his hair. But inside that head, he's got a lot of brains, good common horse sense, the kind that we need for our next president of the United States. It was in 1930 when I first came to know Dick Russell as a friend and a governmental expert. That was when he became governor of Georgia. In the middle of the Depression, by consolidating numerous boards and departments, he put Georgia on a sound financial basis. I believe that he can do the same thing for the federal government when he gets in the White House. 